In today's video, I'm going to upgrade the M.2 hard drive that's in my Steam Deck. So the Steam Deck I've got is a 64 gigabyte base model, and I've recently picked up this bad boy here, the Sabrent Rocket MVME Gen 4 SSD. The model number is 2230. It's meant to have better performance than the top tier Steam Deck, which has 512 gig storage. So this is meant to be faster than that. So rather than putting the Steam Deck on the table and risking damage, I'm just going to do this and turn this upside down and I will just use the case that comes with it as the kind of um, holder. Before we open it, we need to go in and disable the battery. Keep hold of the volume up button and the power and you hear a little beep. There we go. So we want to go to set up utility. Oh, touch screen doesn't work. Okay, so we've got to use the D-pad. Then we go down to power, go to battery storage mode, enter. System will be powered down if you select yes. So we want to go to yes. And that is the battery storage mode turned on. Also make sure you've got your battery levels down to, you know, about 20% and lower. I think I was playing Bioshock Infinity at like ultra settings and, you know, the battery kind of went down really quick. Use this little baby screwdriver to get rid of the screws. Here's a long one, here's the tiny one. So the long ones are here, these edge ones, and these baby ones are these four middle screws. You see this little gap here, this little seam? You want to use your little plectrum looking thing and you just want to kind of like go in there and uh, you just want to kind of pry it open. So just doing kind of like little twisty motions. There we go. It takes a little bit of force, there we go, done. Boom, okay, I didn't hear anything break, so I'm gonna assume that's all good. So this little bit of foil, use your tweezers very gently. We don't wanna break it. A little bit, a little bit more. You see that screw? We wanna open that one up. And maybe even use the tweezers to get the screw out. There should be three more screws, so one, two, and three. I think they're holding down this kind of shielding. Don't know if it's like a heat sink or something. Very teeny tiny ones. I'm going to use tweezers. And again up here. I think when I put this all back together, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to super, super, super tighten any of the screws, so. Oh, sh where did I drop that screw? I dropped it. Oh well, I'll find it. Now we wanna remove this shielding just be careful with this cable here. Now I think it's gonna be a little bit difficult because there may be a thermal pad beneath it actually. There we go, let's be careful. Gentle, yep, fresh thermal pads. Yeah, okay, let's move this to the side. Now we've got this here, which is the battery connector. We need to disconnect the battery before we replace any hard drives or anything. Gonna go back to my little spudger thing to uh, remove the battery. And now we can focus on the SSD. So get your screwdriver back. I'm gonna go to this screw right here. And there we go, it just pops right up. Just gently extract the hard drive. Keep that screw safe. And now what you'll notice is there's a little kind of jacket around this SSD. It's like some kind of protective shielding type thing. So I'm gonna gently take it off and what we wanna do is put that onto the new SSD. Oh, I'm pulling it the wrong way. Let me just uh, do it that way. Ah, easy. Okay, so what have we got here? We're using A4C. Never heard of it. Oh, wow. Comes in a fancy box. Look at that. I'll use that box to um, to store the old uh, SSD, I think. So I'm gonna put this in the fancy box. I'm gonna put the jacket on to this one. Okay, so it's a bit thick. It's thicker than the previous one, so I might need to open this. Please don't rip. Please don't rip. There we go. Nice. So it's in line with the little screw hole. Okay, now we put this into there. And that will slot right in, like so. Now use the screw to put that back in. Don't want to tighten it too, too much. Don't want to break it. Don't know if there's meant to be any play in that. Let me just tighten it a bit more. Okay, now there's no play. 
Maybe I can use this to help. Nope, I don't want to put tweezers in there because I might end up conducting some of the battery's charge. Use my little spudger to just push that back into place. Lovely. Hopefully I never need to open that up again in the history of ever. There. <laughs> It would have been hilarious if uh, whilst I was playing my Steam Deck and then I could just hear this rattling inside it. Okay, just double checking that nothing's been crimped. No, no cables are getting pinched, sorry, not crimped. And having the Steam Deck in this case whilst I'm working, you know, gives me that kind of comfort that the front surface, the front face of the Steam Deck isn't getting like scratched up on the table. Bang, 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 okay. And as I said before, I'm not going to mega tighten any of the screws. Mega tighten. Mega tighten. Sounds like a Power Rangers Zord or something. Or mega tighten. I'm not going to mega tighten these. I'm just going to tighten them up enough where it's secure, but loose enough where if I need to open it up again because I've ruined something, I can open it up fairly easily. Now the long chassis screws. I saw videos of people taking their Steam Decks apart. They were using electric screwdrivers and that just makes me very nervous with little fragile little little tiny teeny screws like this. Okay, we're done. We're done. Okay, and that is how you replace the hard drive inside your Steam Deck. Now, if you try turning on the Steam Deck now, basically it's not going to switch on because you have a blank hard drive in there and there's no Steam Deck operating system. Now, there's no point in me showing you how to kind of reinstate or reinstall the Steam Deck operating system. What I will do is link to the official page on Valve's website, which will guide you through that process.